With our three-dimensional square extruded, we're ready to move on and make some additional edits. Whenever we created this square, we made a sketch. After that sketch, we went to our Features menu and extruded, so this became an extruded boss base. In this section on the left-hand side of the screen, we'll be able to see every addition that we make to our part. Right now, we can see our one extruded boss in the tree. Whenever we click in our tree, we can make edits to any of these parts that we have created. We're going to take a look at how to do that. Before we make these edits, we want to change some settings for our project. We're going to come up to the Tools menu at the top of the page and scroll all the way down to Options. If you don't have the Options menu available, you may need to click the arrow on the bottom of the Tools menu. When your Options screen opens, you'll find there are two tabs, one for System Options and one for Document Properties. We want to select Document Properties and choose Units from the bar on the left-hand side. You should find that we are working in the IPS unit system, which stands for inches, pounds, and seconds. We want to change this and work in millimeters, grams, and seconds. The reason for this is because our puzzle piece will be a fairly small part, and to make the sizes easy to work with, millimeters will be much easier than the complex fractions that would come with working in inches. With our units changed, we're going to find that our part has changed its sizes as well. If we click on our part over in the tree on the left hand side, we should find a menu appears with two different options that we will look at here. Edit Feature will allow you to change anything that you might have done in the Features menu. Edit Sketch will allow you to change any shapes that you created from your Sketch tab. We'll begin by editing the sketch. When we click on our lines from our sketch that used to be 50 inches, we now find that they are 1,270 millimeters. We're going to adjust these sizes back to 50. We will do the same with the sides of the rectangle. As we zoom in, we should see that our square is now 50 by 50, and our units are millimeters rather than inches. With these changes made, we want to click our roll back arrow in the top right hand corner. Our square is 50 by 50, however, the boss extrude that we created from our features menu will now need to be changed. When we come over to the tree on the left hand side, Click the mouse one time, then select Edit Feature from the menu that appears. Our extrude is 127 millimeters, and we need to change this to 5 millimeters. With this change being made, we can click the green check mark. Our square is now the correct sizes.